hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from samax code and in this video guys we're going to continue working with our manage product options or manage product dialog right here so if we click on this then we should be able to to see this manage products dialog where we could you know add a product or certain product so in the next uh few tutorials we will be working with this particular ui or particular dialogue and um, um from the previous tutorial also we already implemented the adding of categories right so as you can probably remember we already have this particular dialogue and in here we could add a category and then we could update and delete according to our uh, preference so the coffee category has been deleted so if you want if you want to add that back then you can just type in coffee and then save it should be able uh, we should be able to um, add the category coffee right here so that being said we need to set also the categories right here in our manage product dialog so as you can see we don't have currently we don't have the categories listed right here so it should be populated uh, into this particular combo box so that the user could select a certain category before adding or before saving the product so in order for us to do that let's open up our files uh, specifically we need to open up the products controller that java that we have created also and also we have the products.fxml file so click on uh, close first and then go back to the fxml file and um, make sure that you have named your or you have added the category or fx id for your uh, combo box so i have here the combo box categories right here so i'm gonna be using this and populate the um categories coming from our database so go back to netbeans ide and um products controller so we already have here the cb categories or the combo box for our categories so we, we just need to populate this using the values coming from our database so we could what we could do is add here a new method so for example populate um categories okay and then of course we need to create this method there you go um, populate categories okay so what we could do is just try to copy and paste the query that we have for example for our um, insert record or execute query something like this so we just copy and paste this inside our populate categories so basically what we're trying to do is just establish a connection by using the connection object that we have here connection and then we try to create a con object okay and also um we use this particular object of the JDBC, which sets the connection uh, for our database. And then what we could do here is to um, try to use the result set and then set or populate the values into our combo box. So let's try that. So what we could do is just use... Um, comment this one for now okay and then I could say here um, result set and then rs equals the con object and then create um, statement and then we could just directly execute the query here so execute uh, execute query and then we're, we're just gonna use the um, 
query that we want. So for example, select um, all fields from categories. I think it's TBL categories. So let me check first to make sure that we're using the correct table for that. Okay, so I think it's just um, categories. So select all from categories. So this will um, try to get all the records coming from our database, um, specifically from the cate uh, categories table. So after that, we could uh, add in the while statement right here. So while, and then we're going to use the RS object and then next, there you go. And we're getting this particular error right here. Um, yeah, we need to open and add the open and close parentheses. So next is um, setting the actual value to the combo box so what we could do is try to use the cb categories and then um, add or we could also set the collections right here so that will be um, observable list and then observe uh, observable list with a type of um, category and um, you could say that um, you could name this as list equals to fx collections fx collections and um, fx collections and dot um, observable array list okay so we're declaring an observable list with the type of category so uh, we will try to add the category right here um, into our list so basically what we could do is um, let's say list that add and then new category and the new category will accept two parameters um, for example the ID and the name of the category itself so we could do rs dot get string okay uh, string uh, int so we should be getting we should be getting the integer so by using in and then id and also here rs or the result set um, get string and then we're going to use the name okay so category name expect that of course okay and then right after that we could um, set let's try this set the um, this particular list into our combo box so cb um, categories dot set items and then we're setting this into null first um, this uh, we're doing this because we want to empty first the combo box before adding new items so CB categories and then set items and of course um, our list so we're getting incompatible types observable are cannot be converted to okay cannot be converted to observable list okay so we need to set the um, type of our combo box. So this should be categories. Okay. And then 
not categories, but category. There you go. Okay, so, so far, we have added a method to populate our categories, combo box. And we're calling that inside our initialize method. And we could, you know, try this by saving it and um, clean and build. And we're just going to wait for a few seconds um, for the changes to be re reflected. Okay, so run file. And then let's log in by using the admin admin as the username and password. Okay, log in successful. And then we're getting this particular dashboard. And if we click on this manage products, there you go. We should be able to uh, see the list. Okay, so for now we're getting this particular output. That's because um, this is the category object. So instead of um, the names itself. Okay, so we need to fix this. So in order for us to fix that, we need to have a converter. Um, to actually get the name from this particular object right here. So, okay. Maybe we could um, try to use a simple one. So instead of using category, we'll just use string for this. Okay. And um, here, we need to get the name itself. And we're not using the effects collection right here so okay so set items but we're not setting the items we're just trying to add the combo box here so let's comment this one so cb categories and Okay. Uh, let me use string here and um, just add the string instead of using the object um, category and then we're setting this particular items into our categories. So setting the null, uh, setting the items into null, and then um, adding items. Okay. Set items equals list. Okay, there you go. Save and clean and build our application. and plug in okay login successful and then the dashboard manage products and we should be able to see the categories so as you can see uh, all these categories are coming from our database and we have added that for example here um, we have added for example test let's just name this um, test and then save so we have, we have here test and we also need to update this later on um, whenever we close the categories or manage categories window we need to, to know also or to update also the um, adding of categories or populating of categories into our combo box. So if you click close and then manage products, we should be getting the new category test that we have added earlier. So here. So now what we're missing is the browse image and then uh, adding description, price, and then save. So we're going to do that in the next video and I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Um, if you like the video and 
um, you have learned something so you can subscribe and press the notification bell so you get that you know you could get updated whenever we have a new uploads um, related to this point of sale system in JavaFX with MySQL. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.